play when I was younger, when the game originally came out. And then, like, for the longest time, like, it went into, into this back part of my mind. You know, I came here, I went to school. And then, out of pure cheap luck, like, I was looking at some videos on YouTube, and I wanted, like, to see some competitive, like, Super Smash Brothers. And one of the first videos that I came across was uh, a video of none. And the most interesting thing was that it had, like, a Canadian flag and a Nicaraguan flag. And I'm from Nicaragua, so that right off the bat, like, caught my interest. And so I start seeing videos of this guy play, right? And I'm like, wow, this guy's really good. So I start looking a little bit into his background and he's actually one of the best Falcon players in the world. And I start seeing more and more videos about it and he's like representing, you know, Nicaragua, like, and he's one of the top players. So I'm like, wow, this is awesome. This is, this is somebody from where I'm from who's doing really, really well at this eSport. And you, it just makes you think like, wow, you know, anybody can do it if you put the time into it. Oh, he doesn't get it. None kind of, uh, I feel like Muti is giving him opportunities that he's not taking. Right. Oh yeah, the needles actually cover uh, below. Yeah, oh Ooh. interesting. Muti King knows that uh, you can't throw just one needle, you have to charge and get two. It's the second needle that hits lower. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But the, the needles a lot of times are random as well. Like exactly uh, what height they're flying in. I feel like it's very date old. What? Uh, yeah, now that was the Mute King shaking his head. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's normally not a good look. Wow, now the set's looking not, a not, lot rougher. Not, 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 okay, he needs to stop right now. Oh my god. Yeah, he can. That might be it though. Up here? Oh, okay. He thought he was going to get the reverse, maybe. He ran, ran to the right. Oh, what? Crouch cancel forward smash and Nud just does it. And Mute King's worst exclusives. And reverse Leo? Reverse Leo? The first tournament that I had ever heard about him was called the Big House 4. I think that might have been one of the earliest tournaments that he came, at least in like the northern United States. And everyone was talking about this Falcon who was just crazy and he played wild and he played with so much energy and it was fast and it was exciting to watch. And I, I grew up in the game learning with Falcon players. I later made him for a while. Um, everyone I talked to was about the character and it's my favorite character. And so then, you slowly saw this player like get, getting better and improving and then like in April of 2015 uh, he came out to the first um, well, my first turn like the first time he came to a tournament I hosted and he won that over our some of our Michigan players and it was really exciting to watch because you don't see Falcon beating Puff in grand finals that often and he did it in the most exciting way it was fast paced and just he finished it with like a triple stomp into knee combo was super just unreal hype and I just fell in love with him like as a player at that point I loved watching him play and then I love talking about like the method behind the madness because no one I don't think a lot of people appreciate it. just there's so much he, that goes into his play that plop is gonna land on the platform before he can get out of the uh, second move so yeah. he waits for it a lot of people they do overextend and throw out the second move right. and their opponent attacks and escape okay Oh, that was a shield repair. Order, yeah. As we talked about it earlier, and that, that's that it. does it. Yeah, none heading the losers bracket. Plum moving into top eight. He's gonna play, uh, I believe, hungry box. Yeah, hungry box. This tournament, the results are a lot more different because although I didn't end up getting top eight, I did beat a god in the way. I got ninth. I was one round away, one stock away. You know. In the end, the results is what matters, but deep down, you know what really went down. So it's, you know, it's a confidence booster for sure. So that will definitely help me out, like going into, into the year. The year has just begun. There's a lot more events coming up. Um, I'm a lot more hungry. Look, I've, I, the, my plan is to always stay hungry, to keep improving, stay motivated. That way you improve for free, basically. You, it comes naturally. Everything, everything happens naturally. So I'm going to be studying a lot, I'm going to be working on my game, stop being so stubborn, that's one of my issues. And uh, you know, just good stuff to come for the rest of the year. I mean, it's the biggest tournament, man. It's the most prestigious one, right? So people are definitely looking here, and it definitely matters, you know? Uh, I usually don't check, but for this one, I did. So I do know I have, I have Johnny, SJ. 
if I win, I have Armada. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, from there, uh, Weon X was also new to the country at that time. Like he moved like a month before Nun came to visit. And um, yeah, so he came. He came, so he left two weeks later. And then um, he came back again two years after. Um, I think it was like a week after Impulse Impulse 1, where we had all of the gods except Armada come to that tournament. It was, it was like an 80 entrant event. So there was uh, Dr. PP, yeah, Dr. PP, uh, Mango, Mitsu King, and Hbox. And they all came and took the top four slots, of course. And, um, and then Nun was actually upset <laughs> that he missed all of them like a week. <laughs> like if he came a week sooner, he could have like played them and met them all. And so like we played more, like he improved and also I improved. Like me and the others improved too, so he was like still comparable with our skill level. Uh, we played actually a really close set at the uh, monthlies I used to host back then too. Where he uh, nearly reversed 3 me, actually. <laughs> and uh, he beat Weon X, I think, that time, and Weon X was actually like the top player in our region at that time. So, yeah, um, yeah those were like the first two times. Then he moved officially in 2014, and then, um, yeah, and then, you know, we hang out often, go to, the go to tournaments together, and, like teamed a few times. And, uh, and yeah, he's like pretty much just the mainstay in Canada now. <laughs>
right, so basically what happened with me was I was raised in Canada. I moved back to Nicaragua. I moved back a good time, like 10 years, 11 years. Um, in those 10, 11 years, uh, now my city, Chinandega, is like so much more developed than it used to be. Now, like, you can find people that know English everywhere. Back in the day, for me to maintain my English, I did thanks to RPGs and movies, basically. Movies in English, I would like go rent them. Internet wasn't even, even, wasn't even a thing back in the day. No sé, nunca lo he visto bien. Para mí, él puede hacer más dinero, mejor vida, haciendo otro tipo de trabajo, teniendo su propia profesión y, y dedicarse a... Pero si a él le gusta, lo apoyo. ¿verdad? Me alegro que esté teniendo éxito porque eso es lo que él dice, pues, que está saliendo adelante. Before all of this, you got to understand these people, you know, they live in a third world country, so this whole new era we're in of esports and all of this, like we understand it because we're in North America, we see all this firsthand, but these guys don't. Like these people, like if you don't know Melee, you won't even go to a computer, you won't see a game, not even Melee, you know, any other game, you just don't know how it is. So they said I wasn't doing anything with, with my life, I was just wasting my time. And you know, you just when people tell you that kind of stuff, you just don't care. It's your passion. You're like, yeah, whatever. You know, you just tell, you just flip everyone off. And it was my family and the same thing. You know, my my girlfriend, my mom. It was we were having some. I was having some rough times mentally. But uh, you know, it sounds cringy and stuff. But now that I go back and reflect on everything, it's not cringy at all because it was my passion. It was my dream, and I just wanted to play and. It, I it would come up to the point where I would have to go against my family just to do it. And you know, it sucks, it's rough times, but in the end, I guess it, was, it, it all worked out. It was worth it, you know? Anda, um, pensé que andaba en, en fiesta. Pensaba muchas cosas, pues, negativas así. Que andaba con mujeres, en, con amigos, tomando. Y, Como no llegaba a hacer visita, se perdía, entonces pensaba cosas malas. A, este, eso es lo que a él le gusta, hay que respetar su decisión, lo que le gusta a él y ahora lo admiro pues porque hasta donde ha llegado, ha llegado muy lejos. Eh, antes lo miraba así como un juego sobre Smash y ahora es una persona, o sea, con éxito acerca de eso, de Smash. Y pues me siento bien porque le gusta a él, me siento orgullosa, es alguien conocido. Y es bonito porque, o sea, uno mira siempre el lado malo, pero tiene que ver el lado bueno de las personas también. Porque me gusta que, que siga con lo que a él le gusta, que le tenga amor a lo que él hace. Sí, de la hoja. Okay, that was sick. That was actually like super dope. That was all like, that was all, that was sick. Dude, I have the best Falcon Edge guards. I swear to God, even though no one wants to admit it, I have the best Falcon Edge guards. I don't care what anyone says. Sin tu presencia. Es un poco, es bastante complicado porque siempre El, para mí, pues, padre y madre tienen que estar juntas, pero se dan muchos casos que no la pareja no está junta, pues, por cierta, por cierta, man, por cierta, de otra X manera, pues. Que siga con amor en su trabajo, le deseo mucha suerte. Que, pues, que gracias a ese, a ese, a ese amor que le tiene a Smash, pues, estamos bien, gracias a Dios no nos ha perjudicado en nada, estamos siempre juntos, apoyándonos uno al otro y seguir adelante siempre con éxito. So before even I started playing, a little bit of history about the Canadian scene is that there was like five elite Canadian players and Nunwood did come to Canada a little bit during that time, but he wasn't really well known. 
But as soon as, uh, I think it was like 2014, 2015 around uh, came along, Nunn started to come huge in the Canadian scene. He started getting better and better and adjusting to the play styles. And then all of a sudden, he just hit this huge boom of tournaments where he just started playing amazing. And then he beat Mewtwo King at the last Gommel. And he's pretty much become like our Canada hype man. He's just this new fresh blood in the Canadian scene. This nice flashy Falcon that we all now watch and look behind. I was uh, I was already commenting all these high level matches, right? So I was already just starting to get into it because I don't actually normally commentate. I'm more of a player. But when I got to the non Mewtwo King set, you know, you have to really let your biases not get in the way. It's like you're, you're friendly, you're, you're homeboy versus one of the best players in the world, right? It's really hard. And I was kind of just like, at first I was just kind of commentating normally, but then the second it got even closer and closer and Nun's just pulling off these crazy moves and he's already an exciting player to watch. Nun does not want to get near me oh, on no. the edge. Needle conversion into dash oh. attacks. The up airs. Oh. Tries to crouch oh. cancel, gets hit. Oh, this is looking real bad okay. for Nun. You two King putting oh. it together. Okay. Shield drop. Oh. oh. The trade, will he make it back? Oh, yes, back. he does. Oh, oh, the shield drop up air. Oh, so oh, oh my god! And he gets the oh, mute! Oh, what a hurry! Mewtwo King playing so safe on the edge. He doesn't want to give Nun a free hit here. Four tilt. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh, is, this is this it? Oh, he tries oh, to really no, break really down. That's such a good defense by Mewtwo King. Oh! oh my god! god. He does it! Does he it! The game! The run! No forward smash! Hold it in. By the end, I was standing up. I'm pretty sure I lost my voice that day. It was just insane. It was, it was a really, really great experience. I can just say that. If, if I'm gonna describe that set, like the environment, two words: the jungle. It was literally chaos. Okay, a big part of it. I, I'm not even trying to boost my crew, but we're called the hyenas, and we like to hype up any set that we're like backing up our homies. Whether you could be from US, if, if we're cool with you, we'll help you out. But if it's our players, it's over. Like it's gonna be 10 times that. And uh, obviously seeing none do good versus Mewtwo King, it made us like more interactive and it just started. <clears throat> Let me just say that you heard animal noises in the crowd and like what other gaming community do you hear that? Let's be real. Yeah. I think he's important to the Canadian role because before him, there wasn't really anyone breaking the top three in Toronto. Uh, Kirby Kaza, Ryan Ford, and uh, Rainex. Even we on X shoutouts. But when he came, he started taking them all out. Especially like, you know, I, I, I don't know the exact year, but when he came back around then, he started taking them out. And it showed people like there's hope. And also it showed people like you could do, you could be good in Canada and you could compete in the US and still represent and do good. And especially with a character like Captain Falcon, right? It's, it's, it's actually motivating for sure. Today we were top 96, top 92. I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, I played Ginger first round. It was a, that guy's really good. It was a 2-0, but uh, I did a, like a comeback on FD. That was, I got kind of lucky there, I guess, to be honest. After that, I played Mafia. That was best of five. Uh, that went 3-1, he's really good. Um, but I, I managed to clutch it out, do a few comebacks here and there too. And then after that, I played Leffen, and that was hectic. Uh, I don't feel I played my best. There's a few things here and there, it's mostly John's, but uh, I couldn't hear Fox's recovery because the side stream had the main speakers on. So that kind of like, I didn't, I wasn't sure of what to do when I was off stage. So, you know, you're not sure what to do, you lose confidence and that ultimately like messes your gameplay up. After that, I played Ryan Ford and it kind of sucked because we're same region, so that's like team kill, right? Um, that was a 3-0. I feel like he didn't play that well, I think. We definitely had some. We've definitely had in our time like some great sets, but uh, I think that that one he was playing a bit off. But uh, for that one, the speakers were on the mainstream, so that was better. So yeah, now I'm just waiting for top eight. I made top eight loser side at Gamo, and I'm waiting for the moon, the winner of Moon and Doug. So it should be interesting.
Yeah. Love great knowledge, uh -huh. right? Okay. Nice. That time the Nair gets beat out, but crowd canceled. Uh oh. Great air dodge, but Moon still keeping up the pressure. Moon knows off stage, but he's gonna go way high. Yeah. <gasps> Moon knows. Oh, he's, he's done. Bad. Yeah. Done That's it right there. Yeah. Nobody else. Everyone, all the Canadians just looked at him. Yep. Nobody else joined him. I mean, there's a, a big glare. There are a lot of New York representatives here, including myself, but, you know, I don't want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have people saying, um. <laughs> Expletives to New York. <laughs> They're not fans of the Empire State, it seems. He's jabbing. I'm probably up tilt. Yeah. Whenever you see him shake his head like that, you know he made a mistake. All right. Oh, this is tough though. Slide off, nice, buddy. Dude, right. none. Final stock. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, beautiful job by the move with a 3 0. Oh. Super dominant. Wow. I did not think that set would be that dominant. I thought we'd see another set like Kirby Kaze Shroom. 3 0. 3 0. 3 0 victory over the. Intense. Mm. Over oh, none. When I was playing. As a, as a noob, there were no Falcon players in Toronto, and I was kind of the, the Falcon player up and coming, and I did okay, I was ranked, but I wasn't beating Ryan Ford or Kirby Kaze or Rainex. And then none just came out of nowhere and just started destroying everybody and changing the way everyone looked at Falcon, and it just kind of brought it to a whole new level. And he's still doing it now. He's just taking it further and further every time he travels. He's beating better and better players. He's making crazy upsets. He's beating gods. He's just crazy. So to me, it's like, Nun's role in Canada is he's just kind of showing people that they can do it, right? Especially with, not even with Fox, like not even with a, a super top tier character. Back before Nun was a thing, our big players were like Ryan Ford, Kirby Kaze, Rain X, IB, these big uh, kind of evil geniuses, I'd say. And Nun is kind of like the antithesis of that. He's like more of like the, the rock star. I actually remember like the first time Nun came, to our scene, uh, came back to our scene in, in around 2014. I actually played him in tournament and our set was game five, but Half the stocks I took, he took himself. So that kind of shows you what Nun's all about. He goes for the utmost kills. It doesn't matter if he dies in the process. And that's what makes him so exciting to watch. I played the Moon in top eight, losers, and uh, he kind of messed me up. Uh, he did a switch in a few things here and there, and that was good, and I didn't see it coming. So, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to bounce back from that because uh, I'm usually like, on top of him, but this time it was the other way around, you know. And uh, yeah, I got outplayed, so GG's. It was it was a good event, I liked it. I wish I could have done better. I could have maybe probably done better, but at least, you know, I didn't bust her out. You know, I got seventh place, the same as last year. You know, we made top eight, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Son de donde son ellos. Sí. A Canadá. No, es de Estados Unidos. Y entonces cuando estés más grande vas a ir a también a jugar, así como cuando yo streameo y juego. Sí. ¿Te gusta eso? Jugar Mario, pa mejor. ¿Mario te gusta? Sí. ¿No te gusta Smash Bros? No. ¿Un poquito? Sí. ¿Un poquito o, po o mucho? Poquito. ¿Y por qué poquito? Porque a mí no me gusta. Ah, bueno, pues no hay idea, tenés que jugar lo mismo que yo juego, Smash Bros. ¿Y cómo le hace? ¿Cómo así, le hace? solo jugando, así normal. ¿No te acordás? Sí. Con los controles allá. Sí, a ver. ¿Ya te acordaste? Sí. Out of the year, I just get to spend time with him when I come. He's Canadian citizen, I can get him anytime I want. But because, you know, I'm always out competing, I can't just... Like right now, there's not even anyone that could take care of him. So, 
if I wanted him to be over there, it would, it would have to be with someone. I'm trying to get my uh, my wife now over there. But, you know, it's rough. I'm in paperwork right now. We'll see what happens. And uh, it definitely sucks, you know, the whole the, the, the whole year long, I'm doing FaceTime calls with him and he's like, Dad, when are you gonna come back, isn't it? You know, it hits you. It, it definitely hits you hard. It's definitely sad. You don't want a kid crying, when can he see you again? So hopefully I'll have him there with me in Toronto soon. Con respecto a la, a la escena aquí en Nicaragua, voy a serte honesto. Eh, hace muchos años éramos mucha gente, la verdad. De hecho, vos entraste en una etapa en que esto ya estaba cesando. La, ya, estaba sincera, ya, estaba, ya estaba muriendo. O sea, Smash ya estaba muriéndose en el entonces cual, cuando él entró a jugar. Eh, I, I revived Melee in this country, actually. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Pero sí, sí, él realmente re, revivió un poco la escena en ese entonces. Eh, por ser, ver cosas nuevas también eso nos empujó a querer mejorar, ya me entendés, porque él traía cosas que miraba en internet, porque él se pegó más a eso, pues nosotros como que jugamos siempre entre nosotros y eso nos limitó un poco, entonces le trajo algo nuevo, nosotros lo aplicamos y así pues hemos ido mejorando un poco, pero el problema es que literalmente siempre somos los mismos jugando y ya no es como antes, pues ya nadie tiene el tiempo para jugar diario. O sea, nosotros vivi vivimos prácticamente di distancias largas y... y... En lo profesional, nunca pensé que el, alguno de nosotros iba a llegar, o sea, a, a ser reconocido. Primero que todo, hacer que, a, que lo conozcan, ya. Entonces, y todavía poder, poder haber visto a Chelevi de que, que se dio a conocer, que dio bastante, pues, de qué hablar. Eh, comenzaron a decir de que él era nicaragüense y que también, pues, que era canadiense, pero fue algo que... Un salto, un buen salto fue el que dimos en nuestro país para mí. De hecho, este, lo, lo conocí el mismo día que todo. Yo estaba aquí cuando él vino. Bueno, y he sido el que más me, ha, me he quedado con él en, en lo que es la relación. He viajado, yo he sido el que más he viajado a Chinandega. Hemos jugado, he sido el que más hemos jugado aquí. So basically, back then, uh, when we got the game, I was like maybe 12 years old. Uh, we got it on December, on Christmas night. And I remember we played until 4 a.m. And we, back then, we actually took it like a party game. We, we, didn't, uh, we didn't care, you know. We, only, we played four characters, uh, doubles with items, Zelda's Temple. And it was, it was like that, you know. But then we, we started watching the, the, the American players and that's how we started, basically. From there, it just exploded. We met a lot of people. We did our own tournaments in some uh, colleges here in, in Nicaragua. We actually had to rent a lot of uh, spaces because we didn't have our own. We took our own TVs, our own game cubes, and we, that's how we started, basically, you know. Uh, it was a small community, but very close. We were very close, all of us. We're here at Genesis. This is a pretty important tournament. It's a big one, you know, all the killers are here. It's the first one of the year, so it kind of like shows how you come into the year in regards to your, you know, your, your game level, I guess. 2017 was a rough year, man. There were so many events. Every single weekend I was like competing. It was hectic. Um, but yeah, you know what, we, sh we showed up. We didn't do well at some, we did well at others. Um, hopefully for this new year, we're gonna try to look a bit into uh, attendance a bit more probably not go to as much stuff and not burn out because burnout is definitely a thing and uh yeah you know just keep doing what we do best hype is match yeah. the tournament let's see what happens honestly this match usually happens really late in the bracket we're seeing this at the, at the very beginning of top 64 so, so uh, that just shows you how stacked this tournament is that's something that you could work on so we'll see how he gets an opening here he tries to get the grab Oh, oh, what a that's crazy. Who does up smash? Wow, that oh, oh amazing! Unbelievable! <sighs> Whoa. Damn, yeah. The four tilt traded with the aerial and he was able to combo off that. Tilt. Oh, that was bad. 
fairly certain that was a roll. Wes trying to style here. Classic Wes, the jab into shine, into miss. He always tries out high percent in into miss yeah. every time. Because he never likes to just do the jab like aerial or jab, jab, fourth smash. Uh, but everybody's de hang out. Yeah, he loves to do combos. And that's it. No. Yeah, he just gave up. He's like, you know what? I could come back and get edge guarded again, but let's just end this right yeah. now. Yeah. Just beat Mike Hayes and Cactus. Cactus? Cactar? I don't know his tag now. How, how does he go by? But uh, we got lucky next, so we'll see. This guy's a tough one. Genesis at 17. Uh, ended up losing to West Balls in the first round of top 64. I beat Mike Hayes and Cac Cactus and ended up losing to Lucky. So did you to them? Anything learned? Sorry? Anything learned? Take away from Genesis? Mm, just gotta warm up early, you know? Because that's a problem. I, I just gotta stick here at the venue, warm up early. Anything you would have done differently? Warm up early. You have to find, even if it's, if competing isn't your thing, you gotta find that thing that gets your blood boiling, you know, like that gets your blood pumping, something that excites you, you know. And uh, for me, it's melee when I'm in tournament, and it doesn't look like it. Like I'm in, I'm straight face. I'm whatever you want to call me, stone cold or whatever. But deep, deep inside, I am hype. You know what I mean? And uh, it is exciting for me to be competing. It's always exciting. It's interesting to be playing these so many new players nowadays. Everyone is good. It's crazy. You just have to watch out. You never know. Times have changed. Million is just in constant uh, development. And uh, it's crazy how things got to go. But yeah, I would just overall come with, you know, with a group of friends on a Sunday, uh, on a Sunday morning. Um, and yeah, just to chill here at the beach. It's really hot here, so I'm going to go show you guys where I used to play melee. Like the very first spot I used to play melee, like here in my city. It's like around the corner, but... Uh, We'll get there. That was my spot I would always hide in to not go to school, right? So like I said, it's all very different now. Like there's this diner here, but basically in here, I would park my truck, a yellow truck. Everyone would tell me, well, what are you doing here? And the entrance to go play actually was in this thing, like right there. It's all like nice now. Like it looks a lot nice, but in there, over here, you can see at the back. Now it's, I can see it. There's construction going on. But it was all dirt. It was just literally all dirt. And you go inside, it's all dirt. It would look really ugly. But this is also different now. But basically, in there is where I would hide. No one would know that I would not go to school. But this was where I played. You're, like, internet wasn't a thing back then, right? So your friends would go tell everyone else, like all the other spots, all their friends, that you were a god, you were sick, you were sick at melee. So then everyone wanted to play you. So people got you famous on their own. You know what I mean? You know what I, I'm trying to say? So you are a known person off of your own friends. So it was 
definitely like it was definitely cool to be one of the best in your own spot here. Y cuando él ganó en Canadá, yo estaba allá. Me sentí contenta porque él ganó. Si él, yo lo apoyo porque eso es lo que a él le gusta. Pero pues, si, yo creo que puede hacer las dos cosas: trabajar y jugar. Y como madre me sentí feliz por él. La primera vez que vino, pues yo digo que tenía bastante talento, que era bien rápido y sí, yo digo, ah, va, este va en serio. Entonces él empezó a venir más seguido y cada vez que venía, venía mejorando con nuevas cosas. Y ya cuando de pronto nos sorprendió de que ya, ya él estaba ganando, entonces ya la verdad que sí tiene talento y se le mire. desde un comienzo pues ya, ya sabíamos que no podía, podía pelear afuera bien. Uh, ¿Cuál es mi rol aquí? Pues básicamente mi rol aquí es como, como lo es Non en Canadá. Él es como la persona que representa a su país. Entonces yo básicamente he estado tratando de salir a Estados Unidos para representar a Costa Rica y también he tratado de hacer que la comunidad se sentí. Eh, este evento lo hicimos gracias a que encontramos este lugar y por dicha logramos poner las cosas. Entonces yo soy la, la persona que trata de organizar las cosas, la persona que trata de, de incentivar a las personas, a los nuevos, de tratar de subir el nivel lo más posible. Así que he tratado de hacer eso y espero seguirlo haciendo este año y en los que siguen. Este, lo considero un gran, un gran amigo eh, y cada vez que yo puedo voy a, a Nicaragua a, a, ver, a verlo a, a The Homies y, y verlo a él y cada vez que igualmente que él puede, él viene y se acerca acá a Costa Rica, somos muy cercanos. He pensado incluso retirarme varias veces y nunca lo logro porque al final uno termina reuniéndose con gente Significa un grupo de amigos que hice cuando empecé a jugar, que ahora hablo con ellos hasta fuera de Mili, en temas no relacionados con Mili. Eh, y, y es parte de mi vida ahora, ya, es parte de, ya no puedo casi retirarme. Por, por más que a veces digo, no, no estoy practicando suficiente, tal vez necesito parar y de, de igual forma sigo jugando. Entonces, para mí ya se volvió como parte de un estilo de vida. Eh, lo, tuvimos, lo tuve en mi casa. Se quedó una semana en mi casa, estuvimos jugando bastante, estuvo parejo en realidad en ese momento, en ese entonces. Y, y bueno, y así fue como lo conocí por mil y ahora de, y luego se fue a Canadá, entonces obviamente perdimos el contacto y vamos de jugar, pero él siempre es bienvenido a Costa Rica y sabe que, que, que aquí tiene una casa, digamos. De la primera vez que Edgar viajó a Canadá, nosotros nos sentimos como que, wow, está jugando con todos los, los, los top del mundo. Y cuando ganó el torneo que le hizo un comeback de Force Talk a Weon X, si no me equivoco, nosotros nos quedamos como que, oh, increíble, le ganó a, le hizo un comeback a un, a un top del mundo internacional. O sea, o sea, qué orgullo también porque él es Nica. Y que ahí en Canadá nos represente y gane un torneo así de la nada, porque él, él llegó como el, por ejemplo, el, el extraño, de, el nuevo. De, de la comunidad y, y que gane así de la nada y le gane a todos los top de Canadá, eso es algo de admirar. That's the goal to keep improving, you know, stay hungry, stay like wanting to be motivated because the moment you lose motivation, the moment you stop being hungry, stuff stops being interesting, you know, and you got, you have to find ways, you have to find excuses to make something interesting in order for you to keep loving it, you know what I mean? It's just a matter of, pers of perspective of how you see things. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool, you know, because it gives you a sense of accomplishment overall. You know? So, yeah. There you go.